This is lesson 13 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson is about using images in Joomla and the topics are resizing images, adding images to an article or module, and uploading images to Media Manager. In this lesson I introduce you to the Joomla Media Manager and show you how to add images to your articles and modules. Before you start working with images, it is important to understand something about image sizes. If you have worked with photos for a while online, you will no doubt be well familiar with this. But if you are new, then this is an important concept to understand. Images, particularly photos taken with modern digital cameras, can be very large, both in terms of the size they take up on your screen and the physical file size. If you don't resize images before putting them on your web page, they will look out of proportion to the rest of the page and your visitors will get frustrated as they wait a long time for the image to download to the browser. So it is important to resize images before creating your content in Administrator. You can of course do this using software on your computer and if you already know how to do this then just keep using your preferred method. However if you are unfamiliar with this process have a look at the appendix in the workbook titled resizing images. This walks you through the process of resizing images using a free online service called PicMonkey. If you don't yet have the workbook you will either find it or a link to it on the website you're now on. If you can't find it visit us at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and look for the link to the basics. I'm going to search for the article I wrote before by entering the word geography here and clicking the magnifying glass icon. Click on the title to edit. Now the first decision is where to place the image. Should it appear on a line by itself or should it sit alongside some text? Let's start by placing it on a new line. Position the cursor on an empty line, which may require you to create a new paragraph with the Enter key. Note that there is an image icon in the editor. But unless you know the location of an existing image, this is pretty useless. Instead, click the Image button underneath the editor window. This displays a window containing images that have been previously uploaded. To upload a new image, scroll down and click the button here. Depending on which browser you're using, this will be labelled Choose Files or Browse or something similar. This opens a new window displaying the files on your local computer. You now need to navigate to the location where your image resides and double click it to return to the previous window. Then click the Start Upload button. The image is then uploaded and added to the list. Click the image and note that its file name is added to the image URL box. Then at the top right of this window, click Insert. The image is added to the article. In the Actions toolbar, click Save and Close. And then visit the page on the front end. Now here's the process to add an image alongside text. Start by positioning the cursor at the start of the paragraph where the image should appear. Even if you want to align it to the right, you position the cursor at the far left. Click the Image button underneath the editor. Choose an existing image from the top window or upload a new one below. Make sure you have selected the image 
and in this drop down box select either left or right. Click insert at the top right. Click save and close. This time I'm going to use a link in administrator towards the top right that opens a new tab and displays the front end home page. Here's the result. The method to add images to a custom HTML module is the same. Start by creating a new module or edit an existing one, insert the image in the same way, save and close and view the result. In the lesson on the Joomla front end, I showed you the files and folders that Joomla installed. Here they are again. The images I uploaded in the previous steps were saved inside this images folder. I have connected to my account using software called FTP, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you have a lot of images to upload and you know how to use FTP, then it's perfectly okay to use this method. However, if you're a beginner, there is an easier and safer method right inside Administrator. In Administrator, navigate to Content Media Manager. The files and folders listed here are the ones inside the Images folder on your hosting account. The Media Manager allows you to upload a number of files at once. You can also create folders and delete images. You navigate through folders by clicking them in the main work area or in the left panel. To create a new folder, navigate to the desired parent folder click Create New Folder in the Actions toolbar Enter a name for the folder and click Create Folder. To upload a number of photos at once, navigate to the folder that will store the files, click Upload in the Actions toolbar. Click the button to open a local files window, select one or more files and click open or whatever it says on your computer. Then click start upload. Depending on the number of files you selected this process may take a while. Uploading images this way can save you time when you need to insert an image into a content item. Instead of waiting for the image to upload when creating content, you simply select the file that has already been uploaded. You can delete a file or folder by clicking on the cross at the top right of the thumbnail. However, be aware that this only deletes the item from the Media Manager. If the file exists in a content item, it won't be deleted from that item. Instead, on the front end, there will be a cross where the image used to live. So before you delete, you need to think if that will have ramifications with existing content. Here is a summary of the major points covered in this lesson. It's essential to resize images before inserting them into articles or modules. Images are inserted using the Image button underneath the editor. Images can be inserted on their own line or alongside text. And use the Media Manager to upload images in bulk and manage existing images. That's all you need to know to get it started with images. It's now time to talk about the look of your site, which is explored in the next lesson, Joomla Templates.